Hi, in this video we're going to show you a handy uh, Windows debloating script you could run to debloat your computer of uh, various uh, Windows related items that come with it if you want to clean things up. So there's a couple ways you could run it. Uh, there's a batch file that will run the script and then you have some options once you go into it which I'll show you in a second. And then if you want to get really technical you could use PowerShell um, with these uh, arguments here to kind of fine tune exactly what you want it to do. And it actually shows you what are what's deleted by default and what's not deleted. And you can see what's decluttered for Windows 10 and 11. And the one thing you're going to have to do too, if you do do the PowerShell uh, method, you're going to have to run this uh, command first to run the script. Otherwise, it'll probably say you don't have permission to do it or this computer is not allowed to do it. And here's an example here. You want to just do specific ones. So let's say we're going to run this guy here, the run.bat. Okay, so you have your options here. Uh, you could run it with Windows 10 default settings, Windows 11 default settings, or custom mode. And I'll show information. So if we do three for custom mode, here's what you get to do. If you say yes or no to each one of these things, pre-installed Windows 10 apps, I'm just going to say no just to go through real quick here. Telemetry diagnostic data. Bing and Cortana. Tips and tricks. Other tips and tricks here. And then there's certain ones like this one. Do you want to hide any icons from the system tray? If you say yes, it'll give you some options like the meet now. I'll say yes. And then news and interests. Say yes. And then folders from the Windows Explorer side panel. Let's say yes. OneDrive. I'll just say no to these just to go through it. Just to show you what options you have here. Now for context menu options. Give access to. Share. And it tells you the uh, ones that I selected yes for and says script completed. Then it suggests that you restart your PC to make sure the changes are properly applied and then press any key to continue. Just like that. So that's just a quick overview how it runs. So it's just a really quick way to uh, clean up your system. Should work for Windows 10 or 11 like you saw it had an uh, option for both. So I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you could download the version of the script right here, the zip file, and then either run it like I did or run it with PowerShell uh, with these actual arguments here to you know customize how it works. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.